And for those of you that haven't done this before, from now, we're trying to treat this as much like it's a practice for an open mind night, a gig, and hopefully, so that we can invite friends, family, in by this time at, uh, at Easter, before the summer, try and do it at the end of every term, as it were. Um, you've all heard each other play before, there's, so there's nothing to be too nervous about. We know what you sound like already. But I do want to give people opportunity to have solo spots, and then we'll be seeing how much time all we have there. So, to get us started, first of all, round of applause for Derek. <laughs> That was your first time playing on stage yeah. now. How you played a couple on your own, one on your own? Was one it, on, one on my own and one with Bill. And then one with, with the group, yeah. basically. Yeah. How did you find it in your own way? So, on my own was nerve wracking. I uh, mucked up a couple of verses, but you know, carried on regardless. And then playing with the band? And then playing with the band was yeah. different entirely. It was more supportive, it was uh, you know, a fun experience. I enjoyed it much more. A lot easier, you said. A lot easier. Yeah, a lot easier. And it's, of course, playing on your own, you can play the song that you know fully and that 
perhaps you prefer <laughs> by playing with the other people, share the burden, right? Yeah, and I just, it's just fun. It's just nice being up there and, and jamming. Whereas, yeah. yeah, so for me, it's all about playing guitar with like one people. Absolutely. A whole group of like with new friends, which we're going like, to yeah. carry on. We don't just do it now. We don't just do it on your nights. We meet outside of your nights, and we just play songs for fun. It's brilliant. This, this is the sort of like the culmination of that, really. Um, yeah. So, so when you when you're playing together, if you if you just um, if you just do drop a note or, or drop a chord, it doesn't sound so bad because it's not just you playing. So and it just seems to it just seems to flow a bit better. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we've seen yeah, that we've seen yeah, that yeah, this evening. So a bit of stage fright, you know, and, and stopped and and then when, when you when there's more than one of you doing that, um, it does it's not so much noticeable. It's, it's, it's not as noticeable <coughs> as it, it is shares the burden. <coughs> so playing on your own is and, and we like to give that, that opportunity yeah. down here and I have done tonight. But playing on your own does that have that extra burden of it's all on me, everyone's looking at me. Yeah. And as soon as we've got two or three or five people on stage, Imagine. well, it, the, the burden is shared and, yeah. and suddenly, therefore, everyone plays a yeah. little bit better. It can take more rehearsing, it can take, um, you know, perhaps not doing the songs that you would choose to play if it was all down to you. But with it being as, as a group, it can lead to a better performance and yeah. a, lot, a lot more fun. Also, it's a bit like practicing penalties. If you're always doing it in the training session, it's never like the real thing. Whereas you give us a chance to be with people that we know and love and are supportive up there, and you can never recreate that at home or with or with mates in a room. Just being up on the stage physically with a blooming microphone in front of you it changes and, everything. And hearing your guitar and your voice coming from somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 you can only do it when you can do it, and we are doing it in the in a situation which is safe but feels real at the same time. It's group therapy. You're not on your own. <laughs> <laughs>